Hurry up. We gotta go. I'm ready. You guys ready? I'm ready I'm for the day. Here we go. Public Dutch Jules here, Dylan, and welcome to another one of our world famous drink throughs. Is it world famous? It is now. It's in, famous to us in Uruguay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to start a drink through! Exactly. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> so. oh, that one reeks. Uh, all right, guys, <laughs> Elijah Craig, one of the most popular bourbons on the face of the planet. This is from Heaven Hill Distillery. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> That's yours. <laughs> it might be mine. Okay. All right, guys, Elijah Craig for a drink through, guys. This is, I mean, it's not the entire Elijah Craig lineup. Um, this is a an assortment that we chose, and we've got a little bit of old, a little bit of new, and we're going to taste it and do a drink through and tell you guys what we think about all of it. So, Heaven Hill Distillate. This comes from the uh, the world-famous Heaven Hill Distillery. Um, and one of our... We're going to start with one of our favorite bourbons ever. This is the Elijah Craig 12-year. Now, this bad boy right here... Unfortunately, unicorn. yeah, unfortunately it doesn't exist anymore. Um, I've been lucky enough, and I know Dylan has a big supply of these, um, but I've been able to accumulate a couple of them as well. It happens to be my wife's favorite bourbon, so mm. um, she's very, uh, she guards it. I happen to sneak this one out, so hopefully she won't get mad at us. Um, but that's what the old Elijah Craig used to look like. It was everywhere back in the day, 12 years old, 47% alcohol. You can see this says 70 centiliters. Um, that's because I got this overseas. I got this in um, Prague. Prague. I got some in Prague. I got some in other countries. This is one I happen to get in Prague. You can see the international sticker there. There's the back of it there. It does say 12 years in the making on the back. You know, for a while they had uh, bottles of this out there that didn't have the 12 on it. And it just had the age statement here on the back and said, right. you know, 12 years old. Um, and then at some point they removed the back age statement, and they just removed it. Completely. And then it was it was this juice, um, which is the non age stated blend. The the explanation is that they needed to meet demand, and in order to do that, they had to remove this twelve year, and they were able to put enough of this out. And I will say they have been putting out the the one down there on the end, the full proof uh, barrel proof twelve year old age. So I don't know. I don't know. I think you know as much as we like this. It's really cool that we get the barrel proof. And if we had to give this up to get the barrel proof 12 year, fair trade, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. I I'm just glad we have it. I I'm, I'm just glad, just, yeah. yeah. I'm glad I have be a, a stock for all of this. Get. Well, it's because you got that bunker supply. Yeah. <laughs> Look wow. at that. All right, let's get poured with the 12 year. I mean, this is, I mean, this is nostalgic, man. Yeah. Because when I was first getting into bourbon, this is one I picked up. I was like, somebody told me you could get a 12 year for like 30 bucks. I was like, yeah. really? Yeah. Okay, let me try that. And I got it and I was like, whoa, that's really good. Yeah. When, when the day they announced that they're going to discontinue this, I went and I got a, <laughs> a cart and I basically bought the entire store. <laughs> Well, I remember you calling us. You're like, hey, I found a place yeah. that had the 1.75 liters, and I got all of them. That's right. <laughs> so we have a, he has a stockpile. Maybe one day we'll share it, and you guys can try some. Hey. You mean Dylan will share it? That'd be great. Oh, my gosh, the nose. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man, nose. this is exactly what I remember. It mm. is. Oh, This mm. is a $100 nose. Yeah, it's, it's, it's heaven. Hell. Mm. I mean, it's... I'm not kidding. This is a $100 nose. No, I believe you. I think it's... Nose? I think it's a lot of the fruit, um, and it's very flowery. It's weird because you know the legacy liquors. We we say, oh, you know, back in the day, it used to be X Y Z. 
And this is like an example of that. Mm -hmm. It's like back in the day, we had a 12-year Elijah Craig, and you got this mm. really wonderful bouquet of flour, molasses, honey, sugars. Mm. You get the just a touch of wood. It, yeah. It's just such a great dram. I, I will say, I mean, over and over again, I mean, I, I, I've had a lot of this. I yeah. love the nose. So On the good. palate, I do think the nose is a little bit better than the palate. I don't think so. The palate's great, but it, the palate skews more towards oak. Well, okay, maybe it's just nostalgia, right? I mm -hmm. mean, back in the day, this was our kind of daily. We we didn't even bat an eye. I mean, this was always available, yeah. always available, and so I, I don't know. I mean, it's just it's, it's from fantastic. Our, it's from our childhood, so, you know. It's fantastic. Your I mean, it, it's kind of fun. Um, when I travel now, because this is one I keep an eye out for. Oh, yeah. I do too. I do too. Like under COVID this year. And I always I have to horrible. like, I check both, you know, if, yeah. the, if the front doesn't Oh yeah, well, I always take a look. I mean, yeah. I, I still walk into liquor stores and sometimes you'll see the old bottles. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's getting more and more rare now, but I'll always be like, hey, I gotta see the back of that. Like yeah. take a look, just make sure it's not one of the age data on the back. Because this is something special. This is a piece of bourbon history. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's not you can gonna win find them. You can find them, especially in like those hidden mom and pop liquor stores. In, yeah, <laughs> and, and definitely overseas. Man. Yeah, I mean, in we overseas, were there. Yeah. I got this in Prague. There were maybe right. like three or four bottles there. I think I bought three of them. You got yeah. one. I got one. <laughs> and then we went to the other store, and you got and like I two. Got two. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they're out there. I mean, yeah. they they exist in the world. They're dwindling, and if you can find them, grab it. You really you won't regret it. Um, what would you pay, honestly? I think the well, most I paid, I even paid a hundred. It was not a hundred. It was like eighty. <laughs> it was seventy euros, dude. That's a hundred bucks. No, that's a little less. I don't remember that. That's like eighty bucks. Nah, maybe. Yeah, I think if could we, have been like fifty euros. You're right. Yeah, I, I, I would say if we didn't have this, I think I might pay a little bit more if I saw it on yeah. the shelf. I know I would. I'd gladly pay a hundred bucks overseas for that. Honestly. I would go like. I go 70, 80 for nostalgia. I agree. 70, 80. Yeah. If, if it's above that, yeah. no thanks. I'll just. The fact that I have maybe like three yeah. more of these. With the age statement on their sticker. I, and I, have I one, think that's I, worth it. I've got one of the big ones mm. still. Yeah, I think that's worth if it. If I didn't have all that, I would maybe go to 100. If you've never had it, I would yeah, maybe spend definitely. 100 just to try definitely. it. Mm. But if you have a little, if you have a couple in the bunker, well, that's yeah, why we're offering it to these folks. 70, it's like let them know. If you don't have it, dude, go up as high yeah, as 100. 94 proof, 12-year-old bourbon, a piece of history. I'm glad we started with this. It's really nice because this is this is what Elijah Craig used to be. Let's move on and see what Elijah Craig currently is. All right, guys. The, uh, the new Coke, the current iteration of Elijah Craig. Different bottle, different design. Not a bad redesign by any stretch, but no age statement. Yeah. Um, they say it's a blend. A lot of people think it's clusters around a ten-year. Uh, nobody really knows. They, you know, they don't really tell us. Um, I mean, I know we've done this in the past. A long time ago, we did a blind between this and the twelve-year, and it was it was easy. Yeah, it was nine day. It was nine day. It's not that this is bad. It's just a different bourbon. Was that Very one easy. of the ones where we actually all got it right? Yeah, yeah, I absolutely, did, right? absolutely. I mean, that was like way long time ago. Mm. I mean, you can tell on the nose. Yeah. The oak is gone. Yeah. Subdued. Completely gone. Subdued. I think everything's like muted. But it's not a bad nose. It's still a really nice bourbon nose. It just, it's lacking all the depth of oak. And you know what it muted. is? It's like the complexity, you know, went down like three um, by three yeah. notches. And yeah, but you know, the palate. But it's still good. The palate is good. It's this still good. Still... I mean, the flavor of Elijah Craig it's still, still there. good. You yeah. know, the, 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 still the, there. the sad thing is, is if this if this never existed, if the twelve year never existed, we would all sip this and be like, "Wow, that's a yeah." Really I'd be totally good happy with this. Like, right. this was their profile. We would be Absolutely. praising it yeah, much right. more than we do. I think. I yeah, think that the right. problem is it lives forever in the shadow yeah. of the twelve year. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least for our, our generation, right. for us. Yeah. I mean, if they, I mean, another five years from now, if this is still on YouTube and somebody watches it, th this will still. Be an excellent bourbon. Yeah, I, I mean, like I quoted Jurassic Park. Sure, this may Park. not even exist by then. Yeah, that's right. I quoted Jurassic Park the other day, and no, like the people I work with did not know what I was talking about. I mean, like and thinking about it, like it just blew me away that movie. But. That's not true. It's because you quoted Anaconda, and no one watched. That. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Oh, wow. wow. Um, okay, thoughts on this, though? I mean, this is a really good it bourbon. It sticks within yeah, its realm. I, I, it for the is price point, muted. Fr yeah. price point, 25 bucks, 30 bucks. I mean, this is a really, yeah. this holds its own against the other name brand bourbons for sure. Yes. Yeah. I, I, how would you describe the flavor profile, though? I mean, it skews a little bit. To, it still skews to the oak. 
Yeah. It's a different, yeah. it's much more muted oak. Maybe a little bit more sweetness even than the mm. 12 year. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's a little nuttier. It's really good though. Yeah. Really I good. think this one, you have the jam yeah. and that's yeah. missing that's here. That's missing yeah. there, exactly. Yeah. It just tastes, you have the stewed fruit. It just tastes sure. younger. It's, it's younger, yeah. it's toned down, but this one had the jam. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but still a great bourbon. I don't want to take anything away from it. Um, very interesting. You guys ready to move on? Yes. And we're moving on. Let's get some fresh glasses. All right, guys, let's move on to a special release, Elijah Craig. Not something you see every day. We haven't nope. seen special releases from Elijah Craig. Nope. But this is their toasted barrel. They're jumping on the toasted barrel bandwagon. We did do a review of this not too long ago. A little bit polarizing. Yeah, you... I really <laughs> enjoyed it. You were really on that I bandwagon. really enjoyed this. You love um, the wagon. But let's see how it does uh, in this drink through. Now, in, in uh, comparison to... The twelve year and the uh, the regular release, which we just taste. Now, Let's see what we think. I will say, I am curious, curious public, uh, curious public. You can't, can't even it? get the name right, man. You can't even get the name right. <laughs> All right, let's just cut that. Look, I'm, I am curious about this versus this, actually, because I wonder if this, the reason why they're toasting it and the flavor profile they're trying to get, are they trying to get that? No, it won't no, have no, the no. oak. It won't yeah, have it won't the oak. It, it'll have the sweet. I it think. does have the sweet juice on that aroma alone. It's a nice nose. Mm -hmm. Okay, better nose, definitely, uh, but than both. Yeah. Wow, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, I like that. Dude. Okay, it's so, so, good. so describe it. Um, it's different, though. It's different than both of these. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, better on every category to the regular. Of course. Uh, less oak than the 12 year, yeah. more sweet. On the palate, Again, less oak, different kind of sweet, uh, a little more, a uh, little more depth of flavor to me. In, 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 on the sweet side, yeah. This has all the oaky, grainy side. This has all the sweets amplified. Yeah, I, I disagree, and I'm completely opposite of that. And I think that's the reason why this has we, more oak. We had, yeah, I do. I really? do think this has more oak. I think, especially on the finish, I think you can see it. Yeah, I don't. You know, this that. is like if you had all the flavors at this level, this cranks it up. And then at that level, the wood is a little bit more prominent. Here, it's cranked up compared to this, but it's okay. skewed toward the jam. You know what it is? It's, it's this is this is young oak. This is old oak. There's a difference there. You yeah, know, I, get what I you're agree. Yeah, yeah, there is there is an oaky hit to that, but it, it's. It's there on the finish. It's not the it tannic oak. This has a little bit of the tannic. Yeah, I agree with that. It's not tannic yeah. oak. It it. Like you can taste it yeah. right at the end. This is an interesting. I mean, these three is a very interesting experience. Like, like this really does sit in the middle of these. Of these <laughs> yeah, true. Really I, I mean, does. like, I like, I think just this drink through. Yeah, is would be yeah, really totally fun. Agree. It's really fun. Um, okay, would the uh, would the toasted be a good replacement for the twelve year? No, no, no. It's different. No, different. very different. Very different. Like I said, wood jam. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like the spice component feels a little stronger on the toasted. It's just different. I, I just don't get that kind uh, of. Spice. Spice punch. No, you don't get it. That's what I mean. It's different. Yeah, it's different. You know? it's, it's different. different. Very different. Um, I like them both. Yeah. I think oh, I like yeah. both of these better than the regular. Right. I definitely think this is worth a premium over the regular. It may not be everybody's jam. Yeah. I'll admit yeah. that. I'll admit that. I, I really enjoy it. Um, I mean, knowing what I know about this one. Yeah. I It'll be like, interesting how we come back to the toasted, what we think after the tasting the next time. Yeah. Two. I'm excited. After we blow it all out. Because I've never done a drink through where the 18 stood right here, the yeah. toasted right here. I mean, yeah. you know. All right. You guys ready to move on? Yep. Let's, let's do, it. do it. Okay, guys. Let's move on to the Elijah Craig 18. Now, whoop, whoop. I think they've changed the bottle. Uh, this is a couple years old. This is a, uh, a 2017 uh, bottling of the 18 year. I got this. For gosh, one one seventy five maybe I don't remember. It, it's up there. I mean, this is an expensive, expensive bourbon. You can see there it says bottled eight eight seventeen. Wow, eighteen years old, ninety proof. You don't see eighteen year old bourbons everywhere. Um, this is a pretty special bottle. I mean, this is you don't see a lot of eighteen year old bourbons out there. So let's give it a taste. Let's see how it stacks up to the other ones. Um, it is a, uh, you know, kind of, I wouldn't say it's a prized possession, but this is a hard it's one to find. Yeah, I don't is... pour this for everybody. Uh, and it's not for everybody. This is one that traditionally I've always thought of as being 
Maybe a little Whoa. bit over oaked. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I mean, just on the nose. It's really oaky. Mm, yeah. I don't think so. Mm. Not on the aroma. On the palate, yes. Uh, on the palate, definitely. On the nose, yeah, you're right. The is nose feels smooth? good. It actually feels a little bit less oaky than the, the 12 Yeah, the, the aroma nose. is fantastic. I think that's where it shines. I think you, it's, it distinguishes itself. I would say you bring back the jam over here, mm. but the problem is the flavor. I think on the palate, you get that. You get the, it's, the, it's dry. The, oh, yeah, it's the dry. oak. Yeah. The, it's the aged oak. It's dry and it's on and it's there. Stays and lingers. So you yeah. know what? Like, it dries um, it out completely. I, I've, I've had this bottle for a while, as you can tell. It's, I mean, it's half empty. I love this with a small piece of ice mm. because mm. It, it chills it. It waters it down just slightly. I'm going to put a little drop of water in this. More than a drop, and it is more than a drop. But like, for me, this is one that shines as it opens up a little bit. Mm. I mean, it, it's not for everybody. Yeah. Um, I understand. It. I think it gets a little bit of hate, and I get it. I don't know that it's worth two hundred dollars. Yeah, I think the aroma is something you know worth kind of nosing, but the oh, palate, dude. I don't do. I don't. Dylan won't do it. But try it with a. The palate try it, disappears. Try it with yeah. a drop of water. I mean, it, it really. It opens up. It tastes. I, I will say, I, you know, I will defend the finish. Yeah, right? No, of course not. I will defend the finish. I will say, you know, 18 year shows. That, isn't that really interesting now? Oh, actually I want it with an ice cube. I yeah, it's, it's really, I mean like, it, yeah. it uh, all the harsh edges fade away. Fade and away completely. A oh. rich, and like then cola. You get, yeah, like you cola. get the cola, you get like the jam flavors really yeah. come through. Oh man. I'm yeah, really this is, curious. It really this, evolves. Do you want to try it? Sure. Yeah, yeah. No, just kidding. No. Um, it's more like, it's like an that aged, was close. it's like an aged scotch. Like it, yeah. it needs a little bit, maybe it. Coercing, you know. It needs you a little coercing. You have to work with it. It's yeah. not for everybody. It's no. definitely not for Dylan because you had to put a little water in it. Yeah, I disagree that there's harshness. There's no harshness here. It's, it's not, not harsh. harsh. I think it's it's just, that it evolves I think it's just, more when you actually put like an ice cube or a drop of water. I think there's a, there's a kind of a Wood forward presentation. It is wood forward, and that's I think some people so will it, it opens find up that when that's a little down. bit offensive. It, maybe it, no, it's just that it can overwhelm your palate. Yeah, it can overwhelm your palate. I would and agree with that. It actually also evolves where it's less dry in the mouth. It's you really know, dry. Yeah, that it's I will dry. agree with. Very dry. Yeah, I mean, so, like, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm you need the water. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, all right, awesome. We tried the eighteen. Let's move on. We put the barrel proof last, even though <laughs> yeah. it's not as old as the eighteen. Blow it up. But let's. Let's try the barrel proof. Let's get some fresh glasses first. Okay, guys, uh, let's move on to the last one here. The barrel proof. Uh, I mean, bourbon drinkers favorite. My Pete. favorite. Bourbon oh. drinkers love this. Barrel proof. This is a ba uh, the C918. Woo. Elijah Craig. Look at that color, man. It is, Look at that uh, proof. as it says, 12 years old, non-chill filtered there on the side. The proof, 65.7. That is Dylan territory, 131.4. Absolutely incredible. I mean, you can get these. If you're smart, you'll get them for 60 bucks. Yes. If you're not smart, you'll get them for like 80 or 90. I and maybe not, you just maybe uh, you I just would, live. I would say it's smart. It's just maybe like you, if you're a regular. You're right, yeah. If, if you, you're a regular. If you live in an area you can where get you get somewhere, you know, where yeah. you commonly go to. Yeah, depends I, on where you live, depends on yeah. who you know, but yeah. I get it from a, a large chain liquor store. And yeah, me know, too. I, I get it at MSRP and I think it's 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 worth it to me. It's completely worth it to me. I don't think anybody will deny that. Um, you know, the funny thing is, is you know, when when these first started coming out, I bought every single one. I had all <laughs> of them lined up. Um, I kind of, honestly, I hit a fatigue point with them though, because mm -hmm. I wasn't getting a lot of differentiation. I had like a stockpile, and I was like, I can't keep opening these because they're intense, they're strong, they're great. Um, I almost felt overwhelmed with them. Mm. But in a good way, in a good way, no doubt. The really strange thing is, I think I stopped when you stopped. Yeah. It, it, it's no, a little it's overwhelming. Because it, I remember, really is. I remember, uh, I, I was calling gym. you on the phone and I said, okay, the, the next one is released. And you said to me, I'll pass. Yeah. What? I did. I started passing. Yeah. Because I had, I kept buying two And of that each. was my last. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, like, I don't know. I, the thing is, we're, we're exceptional cases because we're always buying stuff to get it, to review it. Um, and I kept buying those, and, and I kind of got, I did get burnt out on them. Uh, that being said, 12 years old, barrel proof, non chill filtered, ugh, super high proof. Uh, uh, now I'm home. I'm home. I mean, the nose is really nice. It's, it's like, oh my gosh. Uh, how it's... do I describe this? Okay, so 
It's Christmas. I got I got yeah. a, a <laughs> Christmas. I got a toast, and I just put a, like a I, got, thick, I got a toast. A thick, you know, layer of jam, and marmalade, like Not a piece of strawberry toast. jam, marmalade, maybe a little bit of marmalade, marmalade, a little bit marmalade, of marmalade, creme honey, fresh. honey, honey, honey. No, creme no, fresh. you know what? A little bit of the apple butter, honey, mm. a little honey. And then, and then, and you, and you just slightly burn it. Yeah, slightly yeah, burn it. You have the char. You need the char. I told you, I told you toasted, toast, right? Toast, toasted toast. Toasted toast. Okay, and then you put the jam, the marmalade, and uh, honey, right? And you're just, oh man, it's, wow. it just. How good is oh this? Oh my god, this dude. is. Oh my gosh, this is good. You know, this is the thing. Like, you know, this does not drink uh, at its proof. No, it's I mean, so it's sweet. So it's sweet. So sweet. It's so, <laughs> so I mean, I'm not getting any burn. You know where this? Oh I would say where this. It's like the wood. Yeah. Is is kind of. I would of, say if you if you can't take the proof, <laughs> what is that? There, You're getting wood. <laughs> but if you want a if you want a little more excitement, this, this is exciting because yeah. this is a jam. This yeah. is not excitement, dude. This is a freaking like this is a special event, man. This is a special occasion. That's mm. not just excitement. That's a special occasion, dude. Mm. It's really good. It's, it's a special it's, occasion. It's, it's like a warm hug. It's a Kentucky hug. It, it is. Uh, it's fantastic. I mean, I, I so I mean, we we just talked about this, right? Like, I stopped buying this, and, and every time I taste it, I'm like, why did I stop buying this? It's so good. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you my like technique, right? If I see it on the shelf, I will buy it. Yeah, it was, it's, it's like 60, the it's 60, like, well, it's yeah, 60. it's like the Knob Creek 15 or something like that, right? Like I went in and it's like right there. I go, yeah. well, I can't like give it up, right? Yeah. I mean, this is MSRP, so you got to pick it. If I see this on the shelf, MSRP, okay, yeah. Okay, so coming full circle, guys, are we willing to give up the the 12 year and get the uh, barrel proof in exchange? I think That's it's a not a bad one. trade. It's, right. it's, it's, it's a not trade. a bad trade. I think it's a and good trade. I, okay, but hang on, hang on. Trade. Thirty-five bucks, sixty-five bucks. It's, Let's call it's still worth it. It's worth still it. worth it. Worth yeah. it. Absolutely. Totally. And, and these are out there. Like yeah. they're and not they're out there. They're like they will come and go. Yeah. But you can find them. You when can they find come them. out, you yeah. can find yeah, them. Yeah, you can find them. Yeah, you get the A, B, C every year, right? Yeah, and, and the great that's great. They've they've they have started labeling them, um, uh, so you can figure out when you get them. They have like a an A a B and a C every year. The A is a January, January release, so it's an A1 and then the year. So A1, 17, 18, 19, 20, whatever it is. A and the B I think is a May, May. release for a B5 something. Yeah. And then the C is a nine? September release, I think. I think that's a September well, release. Remember. This it? is a C9. So, yeah, this so is a C9 18, I think so. Um, hey, I'm gonna go back and come go back to my regular <laughs> buying practices. <laughs> I know. It's like you just convinced yourself. I just convinced myself. I, I, I had these sitting in my cabinet, wow. and, I, and this was unopened before we filmed this. Full disclosure, because, because I have a couple anymore. of them just sitting there, and I haven't opened them. And I'm glad I revisited it. I'm glad I reminded myself of how good they are. I'm it's glad totally we did this. It's Me really too. fun. It's totally worth seeing it. the yeah. difference, especially where the toasted yeah where it fits like fits yeah. in. Yeah. And I gotta say, I, I I'm I'm blown away. I mean, it's really toast for. I mean, like wood forward, it but is. young wood, young wood. And I think it does. I think it fits in right here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right in it the really center. It really does fit in there. I, I don't think it's. I think it's actually a little better than the eighteen. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Actually, but I would drink them in this order. Yeah, yeah. I, I, my personal thing is like. Yeah, I, remove I, that. I basically, do this. Yeah, this is a great lineup. Um, you know, you can't even get this anymore. Yeah. So this is really the way you drink it. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I would say if you've never had the eighteen, if you've never had the twelve year, you gotta try them if you can. If you can, you if you find can get it. them. Try and especially them. if you're traveling, you know, in Europe. Keep an eye out for the twelve year. It's yeah. out there in Europe. Maybe and it stands out. It. I mean, you'll see it. Yeah, yeah you'll yeah. see that big 12 on the front. Yeah. But uh, this was a great drink. Through. Awesome. We love awesome drink doing through. these kinds of drink throughs because they're a lot of fun. Uh, it rekindled my love of the Elijah Barrel Proof. Uh, no, thanks, Dutch. Jules. So generous. It tells us what you guys think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Check out our podcast on all the major podcast platforms. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious.
really delicious. Christmas in a bottle, and, man. And like, you know, like I, I got frustrated with it was there's so many different releases. It's like, which one's the best? Right. And I kept drinking. I'm like, okay, I got to keep track of which one's the best. And I was like, I'm overwhelmed. I'm done. <laughs> like, I can't keep track of which one's the best yeah. anymore. And I'm done. They're all great. I'm mm. not going to keep track. And, uh, and now you're going to get back in the game. Well, no, I'm not. But... I mean, the problem is like, there are so many. 